7. Okay, so good evening guys. Ang ating pong pag-aaralan ngayon ay factoring polynomials. 7, 8, 9, okay, so 10, 11. Be sure you have a pen and a paper. Okay. You're open now that. So, factoring polynomials. So, we have a common monomial factor. Difference of two squares. Sum and difference of two cubes. Perfect square trinomials. And general trinomials. And solving problems involving factoring of polynomials. Okay? Uh, wait lang, bebe. Magtuturo muna si daddy, ha? Daddy, ako mama na mag-draw dyan? No. Doon ka mag-draw sa iyong typewriting, okay? Okay, so for our learning task, so we are going to recall uh, your previous lesson about special products among polynomials. Multiply the factors in column A, then match the, col the product to column B. And uh, we have the quiz, uh, quizzes uh, to do that. Uh, so we are going to make it in a quizzes as a third party apps. Okay? So proceed na tayo sa ating uh, uh, discussion. So bali ito yung inyong uh, learning task 1. Multi yun nga, multiply the factors in column A. Then match the product to column B. Okay? So, ready? Uh, uh, gusto nyo, sagutan muna natin yung column A. Okay. So, for example, number 1, 3x times the quantity of 2x minus 5. So, by using the distributive property, so we have, uh, they call this uh, 3x. So, 3x plus times 2x minus 5. Okay? So, yan. Ano nga yung bubugahin? Meron na nga marker doon sa kanina okay. top. So, yun yan. Ano? So, 3x times 2x minus 5. So, therefore, by using the distributive property, by means of multiplication, then multiplying integers, okay, and okay. the loss of exponents, so, 3 times 2, 3 times 2, so we have 6x squared. So, we are going to add the exponent. Ano? And then, 3x times negative 5, so we have negative 15, negative 15x. Okay? So, yun. Ano? So, that is a distributive property. How if we have naman the multiplying binomials? So, for example, for example, multiplying binomials, we have x plus 4 times the quantity of x minus 3. Okay, x plus 4 times the quantity of x minus 3. So, do you know the process of FOIL method? Foil method ha, yun ang ating gagamitin. Foil method. So, using the foil method, F stands for the product of the first terms. Anong first terms natin? Yung X. Okay, so what is the product? We have X squared. Okay? And then, the outer terms, so we have X and negative 3. Yun ang ating outer terms. So, we have now negative 3x. And then, the inner terms, ayan na inner terms, we have 4 times x. So, it will become 4x. Okay? And then, the last term, ano, last term, positive 4 and negative 3, that will become negative 12. So, yun yung ating product. Is it the final answer? So, hindi pa kasi meron tayong pwedeng i-combine na terms, similar terms, okay? So, we have x square, then negative 3x and positive 4x. So, if we combine that, so, since magkaiba sila ng sign, magkaiba sila ng sign, di ba? 
So, it will become, uh, so subtract natin, so 4 minus 3, and that is x. Ano, 1 na lang kasi ang matitira. So, ibig sabihin, yung numerical coefficient na 1, understood na yun, nararito dun sa variable x. And what will be the sign? Mas malaki yung positive number. So, positive x, and then copy the last term, negative 12. Okay, so that will be our uh, product. Ano? So, once again, FOIL method, the first terms, the outer terms, outer, the inner, I, and then the last term, L. So, it stands for FOIL method. Okay? So, yan. Wait lang, dere. So, yun ang ating uh, review. So, multiplying polynomials or binomials para sa ating ano. Okay. So, once again, when we say factoring, when we say factoring class, uh, so, factoring is an inverse process of multiplication through through factoring, we write polynomials in simpler form and it use it as a way of solving the roots of an equation. So, meaning to say, meaning to say, class, that uh, there are different ways of factoring depending on the type of polynomials being factored. So, yun. Kaya nga, as I told you, na ang, uh, ang factoring natin, mayroon tayong greatest common factor, dif uh, difference of two squares, perfect square trinomial, okay, so, and general trinomials, mga ganun. Okay? Next. So, let's have, we have, let's say we have a common Common monomial factors. Okay. Ito nga yung marker daw sa iyong sa iyong sa iyong. Itong pangit natin yung marker. Hindi agad mag-work. Okay. So, greatest common monomial factors. So, first determine if a common monomial factor or greatest common factor exists. Lagi nyo muna titingnan sa trinomial natin kung meron gang greatest common factor. So, factor 3 may be used to find the greatest common factor. Yung factor 3 sa na. And then, it, uh, and also be aware of the opposites. So, for example, the quantity of uh, A minus B and the quantity of uh, B minus A. So, pwede nating masabi siya as uh, if we get the common factor, so pwedeng negative 1. Ano? So, this 2 may be the same if we factored out uh, negative 1 to any of the expression. Okay? pangit ng ating whiteboard okay so we have 3x minus 12 so 3x minus 12 yung ating ano yung ating uh, given so ano ang ating greatest common factor so pwedeng 3 so, if we factored out uh, 3 to 3x, ano na lang, uh, alisin natin yun, kaya meron tayo ditong 3. Diba? And then, so 3x divided by 3, we have x. And negative 12 divided by 3, it, we have, uh, it will be negative 4. Okay? So, it will be negative 4. So, therefore, the factored form is 
3x or 3 times the quantity of x minus 4. Okay, another one. x square y square minus 3x y square. So, ano yung pwede natin may factor out? Yung greatest common factor natin. So, we have x y square. Now, x y x square y square divided by x y square. Ano na lang matitira? x na lamang. Ano, di ba? So, x na lang matitira. And then, yung ating last term. So, 3xy square. Ano na lang matitira? Negative 3. As you can see, magkapareho yung x is, xy square. Di ba? So, factor out yun. So, di ba sabi natin na ang factoring ay kapaligtaran ng special products. Kasi dito, nagdi-divide lang tayo. Doon naman sa special products, tayo ay nag-multiply. Kaya kung ito yung didistribute natin, ito ang kalalabasan niya. Reverse lang nun. Ano? Okay, another one. 6 times the quantity of x minus y plus a times the quantity of x minus y. So, it will become, ano yung common sa dalawa? ba May common yung x minus y, yung common. Ano? Yung x minus y. So, therefore, kung ipapactor out natin yung x minus y, so ito na yon Ano matitira? So, yung 6 na nasa labas kanina, ba Then, plus. ba May plus sign dito. Plus a. So, yun na lang siya. So, x minus y plus 6a. Klaro tayo doon. Okay. Next. This time, difference of 2 squares. Kapag sinabi nating difference of 2 squares, so kailangan perfect square yung ating given. And that, uh, pag sinabing difference, ibig sabihin, merong subtraction dun sa gitna or minus sign. So kaya nga siya ay difference of 2 square. So perfect square siya, ba? So ito, may special pattern tayo dyan. So, get the square root of the first term. Anong square root ng a square? Diba siya ay a na lang? So, a. And how about uh, b square? Diba, b. And then, uh, kapag uh, ano na natin siya, uh, ang factored form noon, uh, ito ano naman ang tinatawag nating sum and difference of two same terms. Diba? Same terms. Kasi A and B ang kanyang uh, A and B din dito sa other factor. And then sa main difference, ibig sabihin, mayroon tayong plus sign and minus sign. Plus and minus. So therefore, the factor form of A square minus B square ay A plus B and A minus B. Okay, so klaro tayo doon. How about uh, 9x square minus 25y square? So, ano square root of 9? The square root of 9 is 3. Because 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Diba? 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 3 times 3. Okay, and then... Uh, uh, what we call this negative uh, 25 y square so square root of 25 is 5 ano? so therefore we have 3x plus 5y times 3x minus 5y as the factor form ok let us have another example we have the square of a binomial a plus b Minus 25. Okay, so minus 25. So, anong square root ito? Asin lang natin yung square, yung exponent. So, a plus b na. So, ito na yun, a plus b. Or a plus b, and then sa kabila naman, a plus b. What is the square root of 25? So, we have positive 5 and negative 5. So, therefore, the factors are 
a plus b plus 5 and a plus b minus 5. Okay? So, that is for difference of 2 squares. How about sum of 2 squares? Meron ba siyang uh, factors? So, a square plus b square has no other factors except 1 and itself. Ibig sabihin, it is a prime polynomial. Prime polynomial yun. This time naman, so, we have uh, sum of 2 cubes. Sum of 2 cubes. So, in the sum of 2 cubes, so, we have a uh, uh, perfect cube lang ang given natin. And then, sum nga siya, ibig sabihin, plus sa inyong ating uh, ang namamagitan dun sa dalawang term. Okay? So, what is the cube root of a cube? The cube root is a. Very good. How about b cube? What is the cube root? So, we have uh, b. Okay? So, therefore, the first uh, factor is A plus B. Now, to get the other factors, ito yung ating technique. Okay? Get the square of the first term. What is the square of the first term? A. So, we have A square. And then, times the, uh, the product of the uh, two terms is AB, then times negative 1. Okay? So, therefore, negative 1 times AB is negative AB. And then, get the square of the last term. So, we have B square. Take note of that, ha? So, once again, the technique is get the square root of the two terms. Yan, ang square root. And then, square the first term. The middle term is the negative product of uh, the two terms, negative product, and then the square of the last term. So, to check that, uh, okay, so distributive property, para natin ma-check siya. So, A times A square is A cube. A times negative AB, so negative A square B. Okay? And then, Ito naman, b times a square, so negative a, uh, positive a square b. Therefore, makakancel na siya. So, positive and negative. So, if we combine that, that is equivalent to zero. Cancel na yun. Ano? Okay? Then, we have b times uh, b times negative a b. So, yun ay magiging negative a b square. And then, A times positive B square. So, that is positive AB square. So, cancel na rin siya. And then, the last term, B times B square. So, positive B cube na yun. So, therefore, ito na yung kanya magiging product. So, tama yung ating factors. So, these are the factors in the factored form. Ano? Okay. Another example. We have... 8x cube so 8x cube what is the cube root of 8x cube so the cube root is 2x how about 27y cube so therefore we have 3y to check 2 times 2 is 4 and then 4 times 2 is 8 ok so, yun. Therefore, that is uh, the cube, 2 is the cube root of 8. How about 3? 3 times 3 is 9 times 3. So, that is uh, 27. Okay? So, 27y cube. Okay. Now, so ito yung ating first factor. And then, the second factor, get the square of the 2x. Anong square ng 2x? So, 2x times 2x. So, once again, let's say, uh, square of 2x. So, 2x times 2x is equal to 4x squared. Okay? So, 4x 
square. Kaya mapapansin nyo, yung ating first term ay 4x square. Okay? And then, sabi nga na ang product nitong dalawa get the negative product of 2x and 3y. So, 2x times 3y is negative 6y. Okay? And then, to get the last term, so 3y times 3y is 9y square. Tara tayo daan. So, therefore, these are the factors of 8x cubed plus 27y cubed. Okay? So, kung may sum of 2 cubes, wari ko naman ay meron ding difference of 2 cubes. So, yun na na. Difference of 2 cubes. So, ito naman, ang pagkakaiba nito doon sa isa ay ito naman ay minus sign kasi difference nga siya ng 2 cubes. So, therefore, kung ito, mababago naman dito yung sign, yung first factor natin. So, what is the first factor? So, A minus B kasi difference nga siya na. Okay? And then, uh, to get the middle term, so, negative product pa rin. Ano ga ang product ng A at negative B? Diba, negative a, B, and negative, uh, negative, negative product nga raw. So, therefore, negative 1, okay? So, para siya ay maging positive A, B, plus, para maging positive A, B, so, negative 1 times negative A, B, so, it will become positive A, B. So, positive A, B. Ano? Kasi, we multiply both numbers which are in negative signs at ang product ng two negative signs is positive so positive AB siya okay and then the square of negative B negative B times negative B is positive B square ano ang pagkakaiba nito di ba lahat siya ay positive kumpara doon sa isa kanina sa isa kanina, si ay alternate. Positive, negative, positive. So, positive yon So, yun namang other factors, alternate. So, dito naman, siya ay all positive at na rin yung negative. Okay? How about uh, x cubed minus uh, 64? What is the cube root of x? The cube root of x, uh, x cube is x. And the cube root of 64 is 4. Or negative 4. That is because, uh, sabi nga natin, so, so negative 4 times negative 4 is equal to, okay, very good, 16. And then times negative 4, so, times negative 4, it will become negative 64. Okay? So, negative 64. And so, therefore, we have negative 4 as the first term or x minus 4. And then, the other factor is x square. The square of x is x square. Negative product. So, it will become positive 4x. And then negative 4 times negative 4 or negative 4 square is 16. So, ito yung ating factors. Okay? So, yun na ating ilan lang sa ating mga uh, factoring. So, if none of this occur, the binomial does not exist uh, or does not factor. Therefore, we have the square of a binomial. Ano naman yung square of a binomial class? Kapag square of a binomial, di ba ito yung square of a binomial? Kasi square and a binomial. Ang tawag natin dito class ay perfect square trinomial. Take note of that. Ha? So, ang tawag natin dyan ay perfect square trinomial or stands for PST. PST, perfect square trinomial. So, yun. Kapag sinabing perfect square trinomial, 
ibig sabihin ang kanyang first and last term ay perfect square. It should be perfect square. So, yun ay pinakita ko nandun sa ating last video. No? And then, yung kanyang middle term ay twice the product of the square root of the first term and the last term. Okay. So, take note of that. Anong square root ng A square? Di ba A? Anong square root ng B square? B. And twice of it, so we have 2 AB. So, therefore, ang ating factors ay A plus B times A plus B or the square of a binomial A plus B. So, ganun din sa ating next, uh, next example, x squared plus 6x plus 9. So, anong square root ng x? Uh, x squared. So, we have x. Square root of 9, 3. Okay? And there, therefore, we have x plus or the square of x plus 3. So, yun yung ating, uh, what we call this, the factors. Ano? And then, we have 4x square minus 20xy plus 25y square. Anong square root ng 4x square? We have 2x. Anong square root ng 25y square? We have negative 5y. Bakit kaya siya negative 5y? Hindi positive. Kasi yung ating middle term dito ay negative. Negative kasi yung naririto. Ano? So, therefore, we have 2x, uh, the square of 2x minus 5y as the uh, factors of this trinomial. Okay? How if if a is equal to 1, ano doon yung a? Ito yung yung numerical coefficient ng ating first term. So, use reverse foil or trial and error method. Ito yung tinatawag natin trial and error method. Doon naman sa trial and error method, ang titingnan nyo yung square root or let's say the factors of the first term at saka no last term. Wherein, Ang kapag minultiply yon, ang magiging tatama tayo sa middle term if we combine the two terms. For example, uh, factors of x squared. So, we have x and x. Laging ang pagsusolve lang yan class. Kasi sa trial and error, laging ang pagsusolve yan, laging magsisimula kayo sa dalawang parenthesis. Ano? Sa dalawang parenthesis. So, for example nga, Ano ang ating example? We have x squared plus 7x plus 12. Okay, so x squared plus 7x plus 12. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, anong factors ng x squared? So, we have x. Anong factors ng 12? Uh, ang factors ng 12, pwede nga uh, Pwede siyang 4 and 3. Pwede ring 6 and 2. Tama? Pwede 12 and 1. Ano? So, maraming factors yung 12. Pero, ang hahanapin natin kapag kinangbay natin, uh, after natin ma-factored out, kailangan tatama tayo sa middle term. So, ano ang dapat? So, 4 and 3. So, dapat ang factors natin ay... 4 and 3. So, x plus 3 and x plus 4. Pwede ba magkabaligtad ang ang x plus 3 at saka x plus 4? Pwede. Tama. Kasi uh, uh, multiplication is commutative. For example, uh, 4 times 3. Diba? 12 yun. 3 times 4. So, 12 din yun. So, pwede sila magkapalit ng position. Okay? So, therefore, kapag ini-add natin ang 3 and 4, di ba, to get the middle term using the file method, so we have 3x and 4x. 3x and 4x. Very good. So, that is, the sum is 7x.
So, ganun din dito sa ating next example. So, x square man 7x plus 12. Diba? Neg uh, since ang ating middle term ay negative 7x, pwede yung factors ng 12, positive 12, negative 3 at negative 4. Ano na? Kasi negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. And then, if we add the 2, so negative 7. Okay? x squared plus 3x minus 18. So, uh, we have uh, x plus 6 and x minus 3. So, uh, 6 times x is 6x. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. So, 6x minus 3, 3x is positive 3x. So, ganun din dito. Ano? So, we have uh, x minus 6 and x plus 3. Pinagbaliktad lang natin ang sign. So, negative 3x siya. Okay? So, ganun lang yun. Ano? Okay? Next. So, if A is not equal to 1, so, are you going to use the trial and error? Pwede. And also, grouping may also be used. Yung grouping. Factoring by uh, grouping. Okay? So, ito na yung ating learning task. So, yung ating learning task, meron tayong ginawang Google Forms dyan. Okay? Also, okay, so, tomorrow, ang ibibigay ko naman sa inyo ay yung ating solving word problems involving factoring polynomials. Okay? So, once again, ah, uh, thank you and uh, goodbye. Okay, so basahin maigi lagi ang ating module. So mahalaga na basahin ang module na. Okay, so once again, maraming salamat na. Uh, so mag-aral na mabuti. Okay, so basahin ang ating module. Okay?